first of all, we have to do this play vanilla graph. Okay, shut up. Julie, stop cussing. Because that's how you warm up your economic muscles. You do this. Now you're set. Why is the government trying to intervene by putting a $3 tax on every pack of cigarettes? The reason that they're putting that $3 tax is they're trying to protect people from secondhand smoke, which we call a negative externality. I'm not involved in your cost-benefit analysis for smoking, but yet I'm paying a cost of it. Plus, we don't want people getting sick in their 40s and 50s and being a burden on our system because they were smokers, okay? Ooh. Now we get a graphic. Now, this is a weird one. The equilibrium price for most cigarettes, I did a little research last night, is about five bucks. But if they add a three dollar tax, that in essence is like a price what? Ceiling. Floor. 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 A price floor because this is the minimum you're allowed to charge. So again, stand on your head to decide this price floor or ceiling. Okay. This creates another problem. You're dang straight it does. Now there could be a surplus of cigarettes. But here's the thing. We know that's not true, right, Joanna and Antonio? We know it's not true because cigarettes are what kind of a product? Inelastic. Uh, inelastic. Yeah. inelastic. So you know what, government? I like what you're trying to do. And maybe some people might not smoke anymore because of this additional financial burden. But there's not going to be a surplus because most smokers are going to be like, ah, you can tax it $25 for all I care. Give me that cigarette. It's a need. And there's no substitute. Okay? And see. What other problems do you have? 